Hi, and welcome to Simple Spirituality PH. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Regine. I am an intuitive, manifesting-based hair reader. I am a certified Reiki healer and an overall light worker. And before we dive into today's episode, I would like to invite everyone who would like to receive notifications of my new videos to please hit the subscribe button over there. If you like this video later on, please give it your thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions you want to say hey, just comment down below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me, online for now, of course, here's the details. Alrighty, so today's video is a very enlightening video for me, actually. It's something that I realized just this year, literally 2021. Um, on New Year's Eve, I was taking a bubble bath and it just dawned to me. Let's be honest, the one thing that I was thinking at that time was going back to work. And of course, when you're coming from a holiday vacation, it's so difficult to get back into the groove of things, the groove of work especially. And I was thinking to myself, I don't want to go back to work just yet. I mean, I still want to go on a couple more days of vacation. I don't want to go to work on Monday right away. I want to enjoy myself. And all of a sudden, everything felt so difficult to me. Everything felt so difficult. Everything felt kind of sad because my holiday was ending, you know, like the relax relaxation time was ending, ending. And yeah, so I just really didn't want to go to work and everything felt difficult. But one of the major things that I realized was that when something feels difficult to you, when something seems difficult to you, when something seems like it's giving you more tension, more stress, more sadness, more depression, more anxiety, that is the exact thing that is waiting to be transformed. So let me repeat that again. Whenever you're experiencing a particular thing that is making you feel negative, whenever something makes you feel anxious or sad or depressed or negative, or it's making things feel difficult for you, it's making uh, things feel like it's caving in on you, that is the one thing that you really have to address when it comes to your beliefs, when it comes to what you're focusing on, and when it comes to this entire manifestation of it, like how it, it, how it manifested in your life, how you're experiencing it in your life. Now, as everyone knows, all my clients know this, and I've been saying it in, in my videos as well, I am a conscious manifester. And so I like curating my life. I like knowing that whatever I want, I can have. And that is the way that that my that I live my life. Anything I want, I can literally just ma consciously manifest it, right? But manifesting is never turned off. So you can never turn it off. Even while you're sleeping, you're manifesting. So it's something that's inherent in us that we never turn off. And so we can actually use that to our advantage, right? Now, what is the connection between that little bit and doing something that is difficult? See, conscious manifesting, as I've come to know it, is greatly about um, what is your focus on or what are you focusing on? basically. Whatever you feel, think, believe, and focus on about yourself and about others and about things and about everything in general is what is going to be coming into your experience, whether you asked for them or not, whether you manifested it consciously or as a fleeting thought, right? And so whenever you find yourself feeling down because of something or feeling that negative thing, you know, whenever you find yourself in a difficult situation, whenever you feel like things are difficult for you, ask yourself this, what are you focusing on? Why is it coming into your reality? Why are you even experiencing this? Yes, you didn't ask for it. 
but very surely it passed in your mind, maybe as a fleeting thought, maybe as a complaint that you've um, spoken to yourself again and again in your inner conversations with yourself. Maybe it's a thought that you've been thinking of again and again in your mind, right? And manifesting is all about what is your focus. So if you continue to focus on that, you're going to have more of that. And that is why you need to be more mindful and more observant of all the negative stuff that's going on in your reality. Because the moment that you catch that, then you can take the responsibility and you can actually flip it around. The things that you hate the most that are happening to you are the exact things that you need to address. They are, um, in corporate terms, they are what we call pain points. You know, we experience pain points a lot. We experience um, things that are not going smoothly and we address them accordingly. That's what we do in a corporate setting, um, from my experience. And that's the exact same thing in life in general. If something is bothering you, don't run away from it. I used to be a person who, you, I was a person who used to run away from things that are difficult and I would just find every reason not to go head on with it. But now I know that the first thing that you have to do is go head to head with it in your mind, head to head with it in your soul, in your emotions, head to head with it, with your entire being. Okay? So if you are currently experiencing something like this, if you're in a state where you're just feeling really bad and things are feeling really difficult, what are you thinking in your head? Are you thinking perhaps that you are, um, that everything is difficult for you? Let's address that. Let's flip that to everything is easy for me. Everything is so easy for me that I can actually do anything that I want. That everything will just fall into place for me. All right? So I hope this little tidbit is, is, is inspiring for you. I hope it opens your your mind up to new ideas, um, excuse me, especially if you are not a conscious manifester. Just be mindful of what the, what your thoughts are. When Remember that when something negative comes up, it is always your starting point. It is always the thing that you need to pay attention to, to focus on, so that, I mean, focus on in the sense of being aware of it. It is something, it is a thing that you need to be aware of, and it is the one thing, the exact thing, actually, that you need to face head-to-head -head on, head-to-head -head with, in your mind, all right? Um, you don't necessarily have to do any action on it on in the 3D world, but you certainly have to face it in your mind. You have to address it. You have to flip all those bad thoughts. You have to take all those negative um, negative thoughts and negative emotions and negative experiences and turn them into something that's beneficial for you. It's time to stop being a victim to all of those negative thoughts and all of those emotions and actually take the rein, take control by transforming them. Those exact little nasty thoughts, transforming them into good ones, into, into how you really want things to play out, all right? So I hope this was helpful. I hope this was inspiring for you. I know that it was for me when I realized it, and I no longer run away from the difficult things. I just face it head on in my mind, and it's been a life changer for me. Um, yeah, I hope it works for you too. So if you like this video, please give it your thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, you want to say hey, just comment down below. If you would like to receive notifications of my new videos, please hit the subscribe button over there. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me, online for now, of course, we'll hear the details. And I will see you guys next time. Please stay happy, stay healthy, and yeah, ciao for now.